island. It's an island. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Describe this island. The white beaches. Mm -hmm. White beaches. Blue skies. Mm -hmm. Looks like looks like a massive castle. Mm -hmm. Where is this it, massive castle? It's like in the center of the island, but it's so big that it takes up most the island. Mm -hmm. What does this castle look like? It's really clear, like glass. Clear glass. Mm -hmm. Lots of green, lots of plants all over. It's so clear, it's almost blue. Mm -hmm. the, the glass. What else do you see? Describe what the castle looks like. Is it tall? Is it wide? What does it look like? It's tall. Mm -hmm. um, almost like a glass volcano. Mm -hmm. It comes to a point. Mm -hmm. And when you look at this castle, where are you looking it from? I'm in the water. Mm -hmm. I'm in the water. So let's find out what you're doing in the water. What do you look like? Like a dolphin. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female dolphin? Male. Male. Do you call yourself by any type of name? No. No. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you're doing there looking at this castle? What type of emotions are you feeling? I protect it. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about your job. I'm like an observer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I guess I warn them that anything's coming in. Mm -hmm. How do you warn them? How do you connect with them? Telepathy. Mm -hmm. So now as you're in that water looking at this castle, tell me what's happening. Is there anything going on? It's almost like a light out of the top of it, mm -hmm. the castle. Is it's it? not much of a castle, it's more of like a pyramid, mm -hmm. but it, it's not a pyramid. It's a glass pyramid? Kind of. Mm -hmm. Like the top of it looks like that, but the, the lower sections are wide and broad and mm -hmm. more of a city. Mm -hmm. And tell me, who lives in that castle? That pyramid. I want you to see the picture in your mind. What do they look like? They're like clear beings, mm -hmm. crystal beings. They're clear crystal beings? I think so. Let's they, find out. They, they seem like they have like you know, legs and arms and a body, but they're clear, mm -hmm. like, transparent. Mm -hmm. But they have like auras around them, like purple and blue and pink and like radiating from them. Mm -hmm. And tell me, how are these beings? How do, what do they do? How do they feel to you? They're definitely positive. Mm -hmm. They're good. What are you feeling? Cold. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why. What's happening? Something's happening to me. Mm -hmm. 
let's see what happens. Like I'm speared, like mm -hmm. something stabbed me, something. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what it is. Allow yourself to see from outside your body. What struck you? It's like a fisherman. They're like, like a harpoon. Mm -hmm. They're on a boat. What do they look like? Boats like old, old wood, not painted. Mm -hmm. What happens next? What do you feel? It doesn't feel like there's many of them on the boat. Mm -hmm. I only see w one boat. Like, I don't think they're trying to attack the island, but they're definitely attacking me. Mm -hmm. So you can <clears throat> actually release yourself from that body and let's find out what happens. Just see that body from the outside. You don't have to feel that cold anymore. What happens? Yeah, they're, they're going to eat me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're just pulling me on board. Are you still alive? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's going through your mind? Oh, definitely a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. A lot of blood. Just like, why? <laughs> mm-hmm. You can detach yourself from that discomfort and just feel the emotions and not any discomfort. They don't know any better. They're mm -hmm. just trying to feed themselves. Okay. So allow yourself to transition out of that body. Feel yourself transitioning out of that body. And tell me what happens to your soul as you leave that body behind. In the sky. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's clouds. I'm just getting higher and higher. Mm-hmm. Up into space. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. Oh, it's vast. It's so mm -hmm. vast. Mm -hmm. I can't really see anything below me. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the planet. <sighs> so allow the comfort of space to warm you. Feel the warmth. What do you see next? Stars in the distance. Mm -hmm. oh. Tell me more. Oh. It's dark. Mm -hmm. It's just so dark. What emotions are you feeling? Empty. Mm -hmm. Lost. Mm -hmm. Disoriented. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself now to be greeted by those who love you. Tell me what you see. Uh, a ship. Mm hmm. What does this ship look like? Like a... Like a... What are they called? Like a pistachio. Mm hmm It looks like, like a, a pistachio. silver pistachio. Mm hmm The shape of a pistachio. Mm -hmm. And what happens now? They're taking me on board. Mm hmm how does it feel? It feels good. Mm -hmm. they're, they're good people. They're good, good beings. A lot of, a lot of light. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? They're tall. Mm -hmm. White hair. White hair. Skinny. Mm -hmm. Light skin. <sighs> Dark eyes. How big are their eyes? <laughs> They're big. Big eyes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Any other features? Flat little nose, mm -hmm. small mouth. They're really pale, almost, almost white. Mm -hmm. Are they dressed in any fashion? Yeah, like a, a, like a white suit. Mm -hmm. Whitish gray. Whitish gray suit? Oh. I'm going to put my hand on your shoulder and you'll be able to warm up. Feel that warmth going through your body. Feel it warming your body. That's right. Feel that warmth going through. That's right. You'll be able to be there, feeling at ease now. So describe your interaction with these beings. What do you look like as you interact with them? Mm -hmm. Do you look like them? Not really. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? I'm more green. Mm -hmm. What do your features look like? Oh, fuck, I'm reptilian. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Got pointy nails. Mm-hmm. How many fingers do you have? Four. Mm-hmm. Like three, the thumb. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. They're longer fingers. The thumb's kind of long and skinny, too. Mm -hmm. What do your feet look like? I've got boots on. Mm -hmm. Like big Santa boots. Mm -hmm. What about the rest of you? How are you dressed? Some type of overalls. Mm -hmm. What about your face? I got scales. Mm -hmm. What color? Yeah. Green. Mm -hmm. I got light green. Green scales? What do your face look like? Your yellow eyes. Mm -hmm. No hair. No hair? Oh. Kind of ugly. Mm -hmm. How do you consider yourself? Do you find yourself handsome? Normal. Mm -hmm. You're normal? Yeah. So now that you know what you look like, and you're in this pistachio-shaped ship, what is it that you do there? I've got no ears. No ears? <laughs> I've got like ear holes. Mm hmm. What is your role on this ship? Engineering. Engineering? Mm hmm. What do you do as an engineer? Repairs. Mm -hmm. Calculations. Mm -hmm. Troubleshooting. Oh. Tell me more. Yeah. What are you feeling in your body? Lots of vibrations. Mm -hmm. Can't even control it. That's okay. Just allow those vibrations to go through your body. So let's find out what you do, what else you do on the ship. Is 
see yourself doing what you do. I guess I need navigation too. Mm -hmm. Are those around you also reptilian or do they look different? Looks like they're such a mix. Mm -hmm. Do they all do, do different things? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see myself at a council. Mm -hmm. Like a, some type of headset. Mm -hmm. So on this council, what, does, what do you look at on this council? There's a screen on there. Mm -hmm. It's circular, lots of buttons. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a scanner. Like a scanner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you responsible for scanning some information? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Security. Security. Tell me more about that. Coming ships. Mm -hmm. I, I detect any upcoming objects and ships, mm -hmm. life forms. Mm -hmm. Do you have a name in this place? Earl. What is it? Earl. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Can I call you Earl? Yeah. All right. So, Earl, I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go to a scene in that same lifetime when something very important is happening to you. Be there now. <sighs> Where are you? Uh, we're on a planet. We're on a planet? <sighs> what does this planet look like? It's red. Mm hmm. Red, red rocks, like a purple sky. Mm -hmm. Do you know the name of this planet? Mars. Mars. So, Earl, what's the purpose of being on Mars today? I live here. What is it? I, I live here. You live there. Okay. This is your home? Yeah. Mm hmm So I'd like for you, Earl, to take me to the place where you live. Where is it that you live? Uh, what does it look like? Underground. Underground. Yeah. How do you get underground? I've got, uh, like, almost like elevators mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, so many sections, it's like a... Like a tall building underground. Mm -hmm. I'm in like one of the lower sections. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so describe to me what it looks like there. It's really bright. Mm -hmm. What illuminates it, Earl? There's lights in the ceilings, but they're not like ordinary lights. Mm -hmm. They illuminate everything. There's no shadow. No shadow? Yeah. There's no shadows. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing the same thing that you wear on your ship in this place? Similar. I've got the, 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 the boots are on, but the, the jumpsuit's different. Mm -hmm. More casual. Mm -hmm. So t let's go to the place where you live and describe it for me. There's rocks in the walls? But it's really... They're like rounded rooms hmm. with rock structure walls and really smooth floors. And really luminescent. Lots of lights everywhere. Mm -hmm. But they're not really coming from anything. They're just there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Is there any furniture in these rooms? It's like everything's built in mm -hmm. or part of the rocks. Mm -hmm. Are they ma carved out of the rocks? Okay, so everything is rock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. So 
what do you what do you have in your living quarters? but it's got cushions. Mm-hmm. Oh. Not much decoration. Mm-hmm. Everything's pretty bland. Mm-hmm. More orangish tan, like a orangish red. Just like the rocks outside, it's mm-hmm. the same inside, but mm-hmm. smoother, mm-hmm. rounded. Like they're just carved mm-hmm. out of the rock. So, Earl, let's find out if you live there by yourself, or do you have a family? What do you see? By myself. By yourself. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. I come and go a lot, so there's not much here. Mm Mm-hmm. Is this your home planet? I feel like it is, but I spend more time on the ship than I do at home. All right. So I'm never here. Good. I don't need much. Mm -hmm. So Earl, let's close that scene and see yourself eating a meal. Where are you? (laughs) Massive cafeterias Mm -hmm. where everybody congregates. Mm -hmm. (sighs) Mm-hmm. Does everybody who's there look the same as you? Look around you. Different shades mm-hmm. of, of, of skin. Yes. Uh, lots of reptiles, but we're not the only ones. There's so many other beings here. Mm-hmm. There's little green beings with bigger heads. Mm-hmm. Uh, Insectoids, uh, pragmatis, mm-hmm. insectoids. Mm-hmm. Some of them are shorter, and a lot of them are really tall, mm-hmm. like maybe eight or nine feet. I feel like I'm like seven feet tall. Mm-hmm. So let's see what it is that you eat, Earl. Look at your meal. Green paste. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's like everything we need. It's nourishment. It's mm-hmm. yeah. It's everything we need. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. Okay. Very good. So I'd like for you to close that scene now, Earl, and let's go to another scene in your lifetime when something important is happening, something that has impacted your life. Be there now. Where are you? Receiving an award, mm-hmm. like on a like at a banquet, mm-hmm. sitting with a bunch of other people. Mm-hmm. Are these people that look like you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is this award for? For the services we've done. Mm-hmm. What is the service that you've done? Exploration Award. Mm-hmm. The, the time I put in, and it's just like a generic award mm-hmm. that they give these to everybody. How do you feel about getting this award? Yeah. <laughs> they give them to everybody. Mm-hmm. It's nothing special. Nothing I've special. got lots of awards. Like mm-hmm. my chest is covered in awards. They're they don't mean much. Mm-hmm. It's their way of like. It's a golden watch for mm-hmm. an endless job. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about your job, Earl? I like it. It gets me off the planet. Mm-hmm. It gets me away from... There's a lot of negative energy in this planet. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of like 
a lot of bad things that happen here. Mm-hmm. Like what? I just don't want to be here. What kind of stuff happens there? They've got a lot of slave labor. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that. They're human. There's a lot of human uh, slave labor. Mm-hmm. Oh. They're better at, 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 at building than we are. Mm-hmm. Where do you get these humans from, Earl? They, they trade for them. They okay. trade goods and services for these, and uh, our technologies. We're more advanced, but they're more capable. Mm-hmm. Like, man, if they had our knowledge, <laughs> we wouldn't stand a chance. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what do you what do you trade? Uh, we trade with their their governments and military. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Tell me what happens. Were you involved in this? Yeah. Tell me about it. I've always just been there. I've always, I've never had the high positions where I'm in command. I'm just along for the ride, mm-hmm. doing what I'm told. How does that make you feel, Earl? Anything to get me off planet. Anything to get me away from all these suffering people. All this negative energy that mm-hmm. you know they shouldn't be here. It's, oh, it's such a the energies are, are, they suck. The energies are, these people should be free. These people should, but in a way, we're all slaves too. Mm-hmm. You know, me doing my job on the ship is no different from what they do. Mm-hmm. I have more freedoms than they have, but I don't want to do this either, you know. Mm-hmm. But I, anything to get me out of here. Earl, are you involved at all with the slave labor? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm, I do anything to get away from that. Mm-hmm. It makes me sick. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. But there's nothing I can do about it. Mm-hmm. It's the people, there's higher ups that they're in command. I'm just. Just give me a job that gets me away from the negative energies and mm-hmm. off planet. I get to explore. I get to see other things and uh, travel. Mm-hmm. That makes me happy. All right, Earl. So let's close that scene now, and let's go to another scene in your lifetime when something important has happened. You're involved with it right now. Uh, Where are you? Where are you, Earl? We're outside of another planet. Uh-huh. Feels like there's a lot of water on this planet. Like it's a really. It's not as big as Mars. Uh-huh. It's smaller, but it's like a really liquidy planet. Uh-huh. There's a lot of like amphibious beings here. Mm-hmm. We have contracts with them. We do deals with them. What is it that you uh, trade with these? Technology. Mm-hmm. A lot of high technology. And what do they give you back? They uh, they have technology as well. Mm-hmm. Some uh, more advanced. I feel like ours are more archaic. Mm-hmm. Advanced in some terms for other planets, but more barbaric, mm-hmm. advanced to the amphibious beings. Mm-hmm. What do these amphibious beings look like? They're, some of them are like humanness, mm-hmm. with like gills. They have legs and arms, mm-hmm. but. They have fins on their legs as well. Hmm. They like protrude from the sides, and on their arms, the same. And it allows them to 
just swim more rapidly. Uh, uh, they're really intelligent. They're really peaceful. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, How do they view you as beings? Some of them like us. We have treaties with them, mm -hmm. but others want nothing to do with us. Mm -hmm. We're we're more negative. Mm -hmm. We're always starting fights. We're always we're always doing bad things. Mm -hmm. We just take what we want. Like if these trades wouldn't go the way we wanted, we'd take it anyways. Mm -hmm. So they, they kind of know that. That's why they take take things that they aren't even going to use hmm. to trade for their technology, but it's their lower technology. You know, it's high for us, but it's, it's lower for them, mm -hmm. lower vibratory if they don't need it. So is there anything important that happens in this place? What happens here, Earl? They're trying to teach us our better ways of mm -hmm. being. Trying to show us more of the light, more of how we should be. How do they do it? Uh, telepathy. Mm -hmm. It's like they're secretly doing it. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to receive that? I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm grateful that they do that. Mm -hmm. They kind of like do it under the table without like our commanders knowing. Mm. Like if they get to us, we could eventually one day get to the rest of us, the rest of the Red mm -hmm. Let them know that we're just being controlled, mm -hmm. that we're just being used. We're capable of so much more. Mm -hmm. So, what are you learning from these reptilians? I mean, <laughs> love. What, they're they, teaching these, me love. They're teaching you. The amphibious people teach you love. Yeah, they have no reason to. What else we do is take. Mm -hmm. They're just so generous, giving us light, and love. Mm -hmm. How is that affecting you, Earl? Oh. It's teaching me. I feel it. I feel the vibrations inside me. Mm -hmm. it makes me dislike being a reptile even more. And it's not necessarily being a reptilian that's bad. It's that that we don't know how to change. We don't. It's born into us. Mm -hmm. We're born this way. Mm -hmm. We don't know any better. So now, as you feel this love coming through you, how does that feel? Oh, it's so amazing. Feel it. Feel I do. I do. I feel it through my whole body. Mm -hmm. Absorb it. Oh. Make it yours. Feel that love. Oh, it's so amazing. Mm -hmm. They're such good beings. They're so positive. I have so much to give, so much love, so much to share. But all we want is weapons. All we want is the stupid technology where they could show us so much more. But we just want crap. We want crap. But I'm not in command. Mm -hmm. I just do what I'm told. Who is in command, Earl? Oh, man. He's a white red. They're, they're high up. They're they're mean. They're mean. They're really mean. Mm -hmm. Like if they knew what I was feeling right now and what they're giving me, what would oh, happen? They'd probably kill me. They'd mm -hmm. probably they'd kill me. Mm -hmm. Do these amphibious people? Do they have a name? Oh, 
Oh. Or does their planet have a name? Emerald, Emerald. Mm-hmm. Emerald. Emerald. A M E R I L. Emerald. I don't know if that's the name of the planet or mm-hmm. if that's the beings. I think that would be the planet. Mm-hmm. Very good. Is there anything else there, Earl, that's important for you to know? I've never experienced love like this. Mm-hmm. It's so unconditional. They just want to show me that there's more to life than what we do. Mm -hmm. It definitely impacts me. Mm -hmm. I've never felt like this. I'm not alarmed. They're they're showing others. My friends on the ship, they're showing them too. They feel it. Mm -hmm. I know they feel it. So let's find out what happens once you get back on the ship. Allow yourself to fast forward and see how the rest of the crew has been affected. We want a mutiny. Mm. We don't want to do what we've been told to do anymore. How many are you? 18 or 19 mm-hmm. of us of the of the lower and we're not we're not necessarily officers mm-hmm. we're more just soldiers mm-hmm. uh, and the officers are just so closed off so close-minded everything's black and white to them so what happens We're refusing to do our work. We're refusing to do what they're telling us. They're not liking that. Mm -hmm. What happens? (sighs) I can't do much now. We're in the middle of nowhere and we control the ship. Mm -hmm. We We do all the work. We do the destiny. We set the destinations. We're the security. We feed them. We give them everything they need, so they can't do anything. Mm-hmm. But they're they're pissed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing good is gonna come of this. Mm-hmm. So what's that? What happens? Uh, yeah, we're all gonna be demoted when we get back. They're all gonna. We're into, they're going to force us into labor, if not kill us. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel, Earl? I don't care. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this life. I'm sick of always being told what to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Freedom is so limited. Freedom is scheduled. Freedom isn't freedom. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck, I'm vibrating so much right now. Mm -hmm. So let's find out, Earl. Let's close that scene and see what happens. What's the next thing that happens? Yeah, I'm slave labor. Slave labor. Yeah. Tell me what happens. We work with the humans now. You work with the humans? Yeah, we do the labor. Mm -hmm. What kind of work do you do? Side by side. A little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. They have some doing the mining. Mm -hmm. Some doing assembly Mm -hmm. of different technologies. Yeah, the more peaceful, not violent ones are, are... are doing the technology stuff and mm-hmm. the more violent are just digging or just they get stuck doing the really grunt work mm-hmm. mining work mm-hmm. <sighs> these humans were they from earth 
some of them, some of them must have been born there. Mm. There's generations of humans. I just feel so bad for them. Mm -hmm. They don't like us either, you know, they're scared of us. So when you're next to a human, what kind of interaction do you have? They're so afraid of us, mm -hmm. they're afraid to talk to us. What language do you speak? Oh, we speak through telepathy, so mm -hmm. it's uh, trying to communicate to them. It really doesn't work, you know. We try like almost like sign language, mm -hmm. like caveman drawings. You know, it's so barbaric the way we try to communicate with them. But mm -hmm. uh, they understand, you know. We're still able to get the the points across. Mm -hmm. But as far as like having a really intelligent conversation, that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. What language do they speak? They're speaking English. Mm -hmm. and we understand English, but we speak through telepathy, so mm -hmm. we don't really have the vocal communication that they have. Like we can make certain noises and kind of speak to each other mm -hmm. through those noises, but the humans don't understand. Mm -hmm. So we can't really talk with them. So what are you doing now? Uh, what job do you have right now? Uh, they, made, they made us dig in the caves. Dig in the caves? Yeah, we're, we're mining ores and different minerals. They turn into different materials, metals and composites and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And where do you live now, Earl? We live in the caverns. Mm -hmm. We have little, like like a mining camp in the caverns, that are so simple. I mean, there's a bed, mm -hmm. and that's it. They're so tiny. They're prison cells. Mm -hmm. They're prison cells with no doors. They're, are they indoors or outdoors? They're they're indoors underground. Everything's mm -hmm. underground. Okay. Like they never. These humans never see the light. They. I'm so lucky to have seen what I've seen. I've mm -hmm. traveled so far. I've, I've seen love. I've seen kindness. I've seen oh, such a, so much of the cosmos. These some of these beings have never seen the light of day. They've never seen above ground. They've never been out of the caves. Oh, they have compassion, though. They have compassion amongst each other. Mm -hmm. And love for each other. So they have that. But that's it. Mm -hmm. But that's what gets them through. Oh, not all of them. Some of them give up and die. How are you feeling about your life? I'm done anyways. I hate this fucking place. I've hated it here for so long. It's no different here in the caverns than where I was in my apartment. Mm -hmm. It's no different. You're always a slave. Just another form. Mm -hmm. Just another form of slavery. <sighs> everything's filtered. Everything's regulated from what we see, what we do, what we can read, what we access, our foods. Everything. Everything is controlled. What do you eat now, Earl? <sighs> now they just feed us like it's gruel. It's, it's. I couldn't even describe it. It's not even nourishment. Is this what they give the humans too? Yeah, do? this is like the excess of their food. Like with their food, their crops go bad. Mm -hmm. it, it like rots. That's what they feed the humans. Like, like rotten, rotten vegetables or rotten fruits. Mm-hmm. And you get that too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not much different than what we had before. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else there that's important? I'm learning to make friends with the humans. They're learning to not fear me. Mm -hmm. How have you made friends with them? I just show them respect and courtesy. I'll make sure no other reptiles get out of line. Mm 
mm-hmm. with them. Mm-hmm. I couldn't protect them. They see that. They they trust me, but they're still not, you know, mm-hmm. not a hundred percent trust. But they they see the good in me. They see that there's others like me that have good in us. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, uh, yeah, that we could help. Mm-hmm. For all the, all of those that did the mutiny, were they all? Demoted with you? Uh, yeah, half of them were killed. Mm-hmm. Half of them were, half of them fought back. I wasn't gonna fight. There's no point in fighting. Mm-hmm. They're just gonna kill us all, anyways. Yes. So I've been a slave. I'm just continuing to be a slave. How long have you been a slave? Uh, my whole life here. Mm-hmm. How old are you, Earl? Like like eighties. Mm-hmm. How long do your does your race go to? They can live two, three hundred years. Mm-hmm. So do you feel like you're fairly young? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would be like twenty, thirty. Mm-hmm. Like for like a human. Mm-hmm. Very good. So now, Earl, let's close that scene and now go further towards the end of your life. Let's see what's happening. Who are you? I'm trying to help the humans escape. Hmm. How are you doing that? <sighs> There's shuttles to get off this planet. Mm-hmm. There's people that want to help them. There's other beings that are here mm-hmm. trying to help them escape. Because what we're doing isn't right. <laughs> I'm just helping with the escape. But I, I got severely wounded. Who wounded you, Earl? My own people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just bleeding out. Mm-hmm. What did they use to hurt you? Some type of light weapon, mm-hmm. like a laser weapon. And it shot a hole clean through me. Like and I don't live long. Mm-hmm. I'd like for you now. To go through your mind and see what it is that you're thinking. I'm so happy. Mm-hmm. Like it hurts, but the pain of the accumulation of my life is so much worse. Than, oh, like the pain from this wound feels good. I'm going home. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'm going home. So allow yourself to transition out of that body now. <clears throat> Leave that body behind and tell me what happens to your soul. <sighs> what do you see? Feet? I'm in a place. There's a lot of. Uh, I'm just light. I'm just light right now. Light mm-hmm. energy. We're all light beings now. I'm going to a place to re, to be rehabilitated. Mm-hmm. What does this place look like? Oh, it's big. There's so many beings here. It's so big. I'm just in like a small section of it that's like a, like a rehab center. Mm-hmm. Is it a physical structure? I get that there's not, but if there needs to be, mm-hmm. if I need that comfort, there is. Mm-hmm. But I don't need that comfort. I don't care. I'm okay with the light. Like they're just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go through a light shower. I'm gonna go, yeah, going through a. How does that light shower feel? Oh man, I'm not in it yet, but it looks awesome. It, I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. It's just gonna clear away all this crap, all this negative energy I've been carrying with me for so long. I just want to let it go. You can only do so much. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's so purifying. It's so warm. Oh. Oh. It's just like being surrounded by love. Compassion. Oh. Like, 
I've done no wrong. <laughs> Nothing I ever did was wrong. They're all just lessons I didn't get to learn. <sighs> it's just draining off of me. It's just draining away. <sighs> I'm, becoming, I'm becoming who I really am. Mm -hmm. It's just, just a light source, just an energy. Mm -hmm. A form of energy. Oh, I feel so good. Oh, so grateful. Fuck. Wow. Wow. Oh, so much brighter. So much more transparent. Much lighter. <sighs> Where are you now? I could laugh again. Mm-hmm. <sighs> With other other forms of energy, just like me, mm -hmm. they've all been through the same thing. We're all just giddy. We're all so happy. Like a lifetime full of weight and, and negative energy is just gone. Bam. Mm -hmm. In an instant. So now that you're feeling this way and you can look back at that life, what was the purpose of you living that lifetime where you felt so miserable? Strength towards strength and compassion. Mm hmm love for people that I have no reason to love and compassion for people I have no reason to have compassion for. Mm -hmm. I don't know them, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. Like blind faith, blind love. Mm -hmm. So why, what lessons did you learn from that life? You can't judge a, you can't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. Beings look like me. It doesn't make them good or bad. We all have the capacity for good or bad. The humans, same thing. They have the capacity for good or bad. Mm -hmm. We all have this. We're all the same. We're all the same. It doesn't matter what form they put us in. <sighs> it's to see past that. love for everything, everyone. So let's close that scene. Allow yourself now to go to your guide and counsel where you can meet with those that can discuss your new life and your old life. <laughs> uh, where are you? Uh, it's, a, it's a big round room. Mm -hmm. a big round table. I'm in the middle. These jerks, <laughs> they're, they're, they're laughing with me. We're all laughing together. It's, uh, they give me a hard time. They mm -hmm. like to give me a hard time. So what are they telling you? <sighs> and I did great. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I always listen to them. Mm -hmm. And I helped those that I needed to help. I was true to myself. <sighs> yeah. When you say that they, you always listen to them, were they communicating with you in that light? No, always. Mm -hmm. always. How do they communicate with you? They give me signs. Mm -hmm. they, they speak to me. Not necessarily in a way that I would hear, mm -hmm. but... It, like an idea. Mm -hmm. It speaks to me through ideas and through signs. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. They'd always kind of show me the way. Mm -hmm. And I felt it. Did you have any guides with you during that life? <sighs> uh, 
they kind of watch me from a distance. I didn't have many that were hands on. Mm -hmm. They feel like I'm advanced enough to where I didn't need that. Okay. Which kind of makes me frustrated with them, you know. That's why I'm like, you guys are jerks, mm. you know, because all the times I'm just like, come on already, and they just like, no, you still got more to learn, you well, still we, got more to do. So you were learning all of this compassion and love and everything from and that strength life. and strength and my inner strength mm -hmm. to not give up, mm -hmm. like that. That light inside me is always there. It will always be there. Always know that. It's no matter how many times if I'm... That's why I was imprisoned in so many different ways. To know that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're... you're oh, you always have that energy inside you. You always have the ability to make the best of whatever you're in. Whatever situation, whatever life, whatever position that you're in. There's always good in it. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter. It's temporary. So oh. what does that light represent? <sighs> that light inside? It's source. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's magnificent. It's so amazing. Oh. Oh. It's just this magnificent... Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. Mm -hmm. This connection to everything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's on every level. It's, it's who we are. It's subatomic. It's, it's who we are. Mm -hmm. So let's now find out why the life of Joseph was chosen. What does the council have to say about that? What is the purpose? Succeed against all odds. Mm -hmm. Find the good in every situation. This one was rough. Mm -hmm. They threw me out of balance right out the right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it wasn't them. It was like situations that you kind of have a knowing of somewhat, mm -hmm. but you don't know everything. Mm -hmm. What you're getting into. And, yeah, I feel like they kind of just, <laughs> they, they read me the, what is it, when you have a book and you just read the subtext. Mm -hmm. They just shared the subtext. They didn't share the whole story. <laughs> the subtext was kind of like a, I wouldn't say a lie, but <laughs> it wasn't the whole truth. So was the life of Joseph chosen by the council? Or did Joseph have any part in picking uh, the family? It, it, was, it was my choice, mm -hmm. but I didn't choose the family. I didn't choose... I, I chose the life lessons. Mm -hmm. So what are the life lessons? What, are the, what is the mission? I think my mission is different than my life lessons. I mm -hmm. feel like my life lessons are... Uh, still along the path of finding the good and all and everything mm -hmm. and maintaining my connection to source no matter how far from source no matter how dark than my surroundings mm -hmm. no matter how diffused source is or how negative the surroundings can get to always know that oh, my connection's there and that's all, that's all that matters. I don't need anything else. I don't need any of these worldly objects. I don't need possessions. I don't need, I don't need family or friends. I don't need those things. A lot of people need that. I've, everything inside me is all I need. And, and that's, that's the reason I, I, I've gone through the abandonment. And I've gone through the isolation over and over. And, and, and I've had friends to, to help because you can't do it solely alone. You're never alone anyways, but you can't, you always need someone to, to laugh with, even even at the, the, the shitty stuff, even at the, the most 
negative situations, you always need a friend to, to laugh with. Mm-hmm. Even if you have to go back at it alone. But what mission's so much bigger than all that? All so let's this. find out what that mission is. Did your council give you your mission, or did you choose that mission? They gave me a mission. All right, let's find out what that mission is. There's something I'm supposed to share with everyone. Mm-hmm. And I don't think they're going to let me see what it is. Mm-hmm. But it's definitely, it's big. It's it's really big. Like it affects everybody. I just see it as a massive light that's I share it and like this light gets passed to everybody mm-hmm. like they sh- it's like a contagious thing <sighs> and it's it spreads like mm-hmm. wildfire it spreads everywhere mm-hmm. <sighs> now this vi- this vibration that <sighs> Joseph is feeling is that part of this light yeah mm-hmm. so is he spreading this vibration <sighs> To those all around him. Always. Mm-hmm. Always. Even in the, in the most negative situations, it's probably spreading even more. Mm-hmm. When you think you're at your worst, you're at your best. Mm-hmm. When you're at your best, you're neutral. Mm-hmm. You're not going anywhere. So this uh, vibration that he's sharing with the world, does this have some sort of energy associated with it? Any big. healing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can uh, you tell him what that does to people that are around him? Oh, that's an awakening. It's an awakening. Does he carry that seed of awakening in him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's huge. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's for the world. It's for the. It's for the world. So, what should Joseph be doing with this energy? Oh, he, he's building it now. Mm-hmm. He, he's building it. He's, he feels like he's doing nothing. Mm-hmm. And he's spinning his wheels and not getting anywhere. But he doesn't see it. It's, it's on the other side. It's getting so big. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to pop. It's going to hit a tipping point where you, you can't control it. It'll just, oh, like a light switch. Mm-hmm. Oh. So he was told one day that he would have the potential to move energy with his mind. <laughs> he already does. In what he way? He already does. What does he do? Uh, his, oh, wow, his imagination's so strong. Mm-hmm. It's powerful. He can change the world. He really, truly can. So what does he have to imagine in his mind to change the world? Oh, he has to get past all the crap that he's going through on a personal level. Because mm-hmm. it's nothing to do with him. It's nothing to do with him. It's so much bigger. It's so much grander. Mm-hmm. It's source. Mm-hmm. Oh. The source moving through him. Oh yeah. So is he an instrument of of God? Oh, big time. Mm-hmm. Big time. So like a grenade. He's like a <laughs> he's like a time bomb. He's uh-huh. just. What's going to trigger this time bomb? Oh. Is this session going to trigger it? Ooh, this helps. Mm-hmm. This will help him see past all his his current crap, all his current woes. Mm-hmm. And they're not insignificant. Don't think they're insignificant because they're lessons. Mm-hmm. They're all lessons you need to learn. But it's, wow, it's it's something you brought in with you. And you, you can't escape it. It's, wow. It's huge. <laughs> I just see like an atomic bomb of energy <laughs> and it connects to everybody. Mm. It's everybody. Whether they're good, bad, it doesn't matter. Whether they wanted it or not, it doesn't matter. Oh. So these were the gifts and oh. hidden, hidden abilities that he was, he's unaware of? Oh, there's more. What else can he there's do? There's more. What other abilities does he have? He's a builder. He's a creator. Yes. He's a creator. He creates worlds. Mm-hmm. He can create anything. What's He's created so much in his life. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, in his lives. In his lives. Tell him about what past life 
Did he do the most work to raise his vibration? Was that the one you showed him? Uh, 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 he was in Egypt. Uh -huh. uh, he was a, a big part of those energies at that time. Uh -huh. no, a big he... part of that awakening. Oh, but the people weren't ready. The people weren't ready. Uh -huh. yeah, they just killed whatever they didn't understand. They just... What kind of form did he take in Egypt? Show him a picture of it. I see it, but it's... Is that me? Mm -hmm. I had a human body and a, 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 a dark face. Mm-hmm. A canine face. So he was like one of the dog people? One of the canine people? Is that me? Mm-hmm. He has a dog face? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was... But... I had abilities like way beyond mm -hmm. anybody else. But I was here to help. I was... I was assisting, I was helping Osiris, I was helping a Dad, I think I was helping Osiris, mm -hmm. but it was it was way beyond that. Was he from this planet? The 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 the, the, the bird beings. Mm -hmm. I was, I was, I was assisting them. You were assisting the mer-beings on Earth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was helping a lot of, of higher density beings. Hmm. I, was, I was a form of protection, but I was also... a, 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 a conduit. Mm -hmm. I was a conduit for the energies. And I helped... I helped build all the structures. I helped with the pyramids. I helped that. I helped with that. Hmm. I was moving. I was moving blocks with my mind. Mm -hmm. I was. That's the energy moving with my mind. That's. Oh, and I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. So those blocks weren't being oh. rolled by slaves. No. Oh. oh, childish. Oh, childish to think that. <laughs> and it was so fast. We did it so fast. How long did it take to build oh, those pyramids? Man. Days. Days. We built them in days. The the engineering designs weren't our own. They were they were way beyond that. They were sources. They were pure sources designs. Mm. But we were there to to build the structures and help facilitate uh, the, the higher density beings in uh, teaching uh, the humans on, on, on how to raise their vibration, on how to uh, uh, ascend themselves to become uh, uh, the higher density beings. Because mm -hmm. it's in all of us. It's, oh, it's in all of us. Mm -hmm. We're all the same. And once again, like so easily do people look at something and want to judge. And, and fear. They'll have such fear for what they don't understand and what they don't know. Just because it's new and different, don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. That's what's exciting. That's what, yeah, that's what you want. That should draw you to it. That should, oh, yeah, life should be adventure. Life shouldn't be fear. Fear is so laughable. There's no reason to fear. There's Fear was a design. Fear was a design for control. By other beings here to keep people from not ascending to, for, to keep people from their highest good, <laughs> they would keep people in fear, and, and and they would teach it from such a small age to where even even beings coming in with that such this, such a strong connection to source it didn't matter because they were so programmed to have fear in them that their connection to source was amplified. It amplified that fear, mm. making the fear stronger, making the negative energy stronger. We've contributed to that, not on purpose. 
So now where we st- where do we stand with fear? Uh, there's there, there'll always be fear. It's not something we can. Uh, there's it's it has its own energy. Mm-hmm. It's not something we can do away with. So is this energy that Joseph has? Will it be he be helping amplify source? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. He'll be he'll be helping with the creation and the building, and he'll also be helping like he was before with uh, like a catalyst mm-hmm. of understanding for for the people to understand the higher the meaning of the higher energies because yeah. so much is lost in communication like words writing oh it's so horrible like there's a reason that the hieroglyphs and all these all these languages were they were shapes they were forms they were geometry they had meaning and we they dumbed it down they dumbed it down as another way of control. Oh, mm-hmm. it sucks. Because, man, there is... Oh, oh, just in, in writing and geometry alone, there's so much power, so much strength. That's what would connect us to Source. Like, kind of like spells. Like people would think is magic. Mm-hmm. Oh, those, those words have power. Those, oh, especially the old... Uh, uh, the Sumerian, uh, 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 what is it called? Uh, cuneiform. Uh, there's so much strength in cuneiform and, and in the hieroglyphics and all those writings. Like if we would have stuck with those writings, we'd be way beyond where we are. Oh, and, and, and all our teachings and all the teachings left behind were diluted in translation purposely Mm -hmm. and a lot of them were just chipped away a lot of uh, the right uh, oh but there's more there's so much more hidden they're hidden everywhere all over the planet there's so much hidden that it's going to be discovered it's coming it's on the way we're so close to it well that was one of the questions that joseph had he wanted to know when it's in march it's in march like i hate to give uh Oh, like it's not everything in March. No, don't think that way. Don't mm-hmm. think everything is going to happen all at once because it's it's unfolding. It's been unfolding. It's been mm-hmm. unraveling. Oh. So what's he was asking oh. about disclosure? Oh. He was ha- ha- asking it, about it's happening propulsion now. systems. It's a soft drip disclosure. That's what they want to try to do. Like that's their plan. Mm-hmm. It's so stupid. Mm-hmm. They're not going to give us a full disclosure all at once. It, I don't feel like it'll. Uh, and, and, and what they do, like if they give us of like a full disclosure to them, will be like an eighty to seventy percent full disclosure, mm-hmm. and they'll wait until something big happens, something undeniable. Like, like a, like a big visitation <laughs> that's undeniable. You can't deny that. Are there any plans for a large visitation? Oh, yeah. It's mm. in the works. It's been in the works. It was actually supposed to happen years ago, but we weren't ready. We weren't ready. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that's, that's part of the fear they've been giving us. That's why people are so afraid and all the stupid movies of mm-hmm. the negative ets attacking and mm-hmm. all that crap it's oh don't listen to that it's it's all wrong it's all wrong well, a lot of people have said that there's oh. going to be false flags regarding yeah they're already aliens. happening they are happening they've mm-hmm. been happening the vegas was there's the 911 was like there's been countless our government is so corrupt on so many levels and there's good people mixed in with all this Mm -hmm. which makes it so difficult because you can't just cut the head off the snake Mm -hmm. because there's good in the snake Mm -hmm. so how do we filter out the bad from the good and when we're hoping and what we're going to conform them all Mm -hmm. That, that that negative won't stay negative so the whole idea is to work with love from within? Oh, yeah. Like those amphibious and beings? not just within. Mm. That love is everywhere. It's within everything. It's it's the light we feel on the skin. It's it's the birds we see in the air. It's the flowers in the ground. It's it's the trees. It's, it is the ground. It's the earth. It's Gaia. It's 
It's everywhere. It's the air we breathe. It's the water we wash with. It's in everything. It's in everything. You can't escape it. You could try to temporarily, but... What is it that you speak of? Of source. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. We're all source. We're all one. We're all the same. And people get thrown off by that, saying we're all one. Because once again, they see the outside. They see the shape. They see the form. But energy has no shape or form. We're all energy. We're all energy beings. Just in different shapes and form. That's all there is. Now they speak of Gaia ascending. <sighs> yeah. How does this have to do with the uh, plan? That's, that's what's going to cause us to ascend. That's, mm -hmm. we can't escape it. That's why we can't escape it. Oh, like if, if this is a giant ship, then there's no place to hide. Mm -hmm. it's source will touch you even in the darkest places. Source is there. You can't escape it. So what is the plan for even the ascension? In total darkness, source is there. What's the plan? Oh, there's so many plans already in play. So many things already at work. So many... Uh, Everybody plays a part. It's like a, like baking a cake. Mm -hmm. And you leave one ingredient out, and it doesn't taste right. Mm -hmm. Nothing's right. And every individual is part of that. Every individual. And all of those out there that think, oh, I'm so insignificant. There's nothing I do. You don't have to do anything. Your presence is doing something. You being here. Your energy. That's what it's about. We've got all these false notions that we have to be go, 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 go. It's so not true. Oh, so often, it's in the peace. It's in the places between. It's in the space between. It's in between the breaths, where everything's at. It's, oh, if we spend more time there, and less time watching TV, and... and the news, stay away from the news. It's all control. It's all, that's how they're controlling you. Stupid movies and news and, and who cares if your friends watch the news? You don't have to be part of that. You don't have to be part of any of that. Be, be in your presence. Mm -hmm. Be in your breath. So Joseph tells me that last year he started working, doing more meditation to do yeah. healing work. Should he continue yeah. doing this? Oh yeah, he will. Mm -hmm. He's a healer. He's mm -hmm. a healer. What can he use to heal? He doesn't have to use anything. He's, he, he tried to learn to use his hands, mm -hmm. but it's not in your hands. It's not even in you. And you think you have to do it one person at a time? It's not even that way. You could, oh wow, it's so massive. It's, it's on such a large scale. I mean, you could, wow, when you, when you truly tap into it, and you have, there's no words to describe it, mm -hmm. but it's not in your hands. It's not in any gestures you have to do or any words you have to memorize. It's in your body. It's already in you. It's in your energy. And you can make major changes. You can make math. Oh, mountains, moving mountains. So, there you go. So I almost do, said it right. It's, yeah. It's that faith. The faith of a mustard, that mustard seed. seed. Mm -hmm. And you can truly move mountains. And not everybody can do that. Can Joseph move mountains? Oh, yeah. He's created pyramids already. He can move worlds. So what is he supposed to be doing here? There's nothing you have to do. Okay. There's nothing you have to prepare for. There's... You're, you're doing it. He's already doing it. By being. Mm -hmm. By being. So anywhere where he bees, <laughs> anywhere yeah. where he is, yeah. is it okay? Because he was thinking of moving. Oh, no. You're, you're, they need you there more than anywhere. Okay. So those people where who needed. hate where they are and they're doing light working, is this something that you were put there for that reason? Mainly, the reason they usually hate it is because the energies don't, they conflict with their own. Mm. So, yeah, you're going to hate being, you know, if you're of one energy and you're surrounded by something else, like, mm -hmm. yeah, man, it's going to suck. But 
get used to it. That's life, you know. That's one of the that's the lessons you've been learning to prepare for this is that there's always good. There's always good in the mm-hmm. in the darkest situation in the in the blackest of night. There's the lights there. Mm-hmm. It, you can't shut out the light. You can't have black without the light. You can't. It's impossible. You you can't have darkness without light. It's it's in everything mm-hmm. always. Period. But as a soul, it's very easy for the higher self to say that, but we are living human lives. We have jobs that we have to do, places we have to live. Joseph doesn't know what he should be doing. He has many interests, for example. Is there anything that the higher self tells him that he should be doing? Focusing on? Remember, it's all temporary. Okay. So all this, it may feel like a lifetime, but after this, you'll see, it was, it was a vacation. It was a breath in. It was mm-hmm. a breath in that you experienced all of this crap. That's all it is. And, and, uh, so whatever he's doing is okay? Whatever. Oh, yeah. He's doing great. He's doing so great. Mm-hmm. Ah, through the, the animations, he can mm-hmm. share love and compassion yes. and, and, and the positive messages. Mm-hmm. And same with the writing, the scripts, the screenplays. Mm-hmm. You know, you can, make, you can make positive movies that have the same effect as all these negative ones. Mm-hmm. And, and you're going to. You're going to have... You'll put stuff out there. And we've been pushing you, but you're slow. Mm-hmm. You're slow to jump. And I could do a screenplay uh, about a reptilian. That's actually what he's... <laughs> He's got things, yeah. He's got <laughs> lots of things he's been working on, mm-hmm. and oh, but he, you should do do your family one first. Mm-hmm. You know which one. You do that one first. Focus on that. Oh, you've got quite. A, you know what to do. You know what order to work on them in, mm-hmm. and just do them in your spare time. It doesn't have to be. You have this false notion that you have to be a hundred percent on anything you do, and it's not that at all. It's it's. Bounce back and forth. It's have fun. Mm-hmm. It's it's the love and what you do. And as soon as you get a little bored, jump into the next thing. And as soon as you get bored with that, jump into the next thing. And then jump back and and keep that rhythm and keep that forward motion and keep that momentum. And that's the only mistake you're making is you allow your momentum get uh, so built up, uh, and then you built up all these expectations on what's going to happen. Uh, and then you just push yourself off. You just, you just disagree with everything, and you shut down. And I'm not moving. He's so stubborn. He's so stubborn. <laughs> and he'll, he'll refuse to budge. Like I'm not moving until you show me more. He <sighs> says he wants to build a spaceship. Oh, he has. He's going to be part of these technologies coming forward. Mm-hmm. He doesn't even know it. It's so funny. <laughs> so uh, the the anti gravity is like, man, he's done that so many times. He knows this. Like this is so deep within him that oh, he thinks he needs to study all these current theories on technologies, and he doesn't have to do anything. It's already in there. It's all in there. He knows how to reverse engineer things already. Yeah, he's good at it. He's yeah. really good at his job. Yeah. Oh, he programs and he he designs in CAD mm-hmm. in the, the computer all the time. He's he's great at it. He's amazing at it. And, and oh, that'll be a lot of what he d- he'll do. He'll oh, just like he used to design, helped with the pyramids and all those mm-hmm. designs. Um, there's reasons for everything. There's reasons for the shape of the ship. There's reasons. Mm-hmm. Oh, for everything. Mm-hmm. It all has meaning. It's so much more than like aerodynamics or a joke. It's more fluid systems and mm-hmm. they, they, you know, they, they just small, like they saw like a small percentage of what it's really all about. But it's so much grander. Mm-hmm. It's so much grander. Oh. Now, in the last uh. lifetime, he noticed that he didn't have any guides with him. Is he in the same boat oh. this time? Or does he have guides this time? There, uh, uh, that's Bishop. Bishop's a guide. Bishop, okay. Yeah. You got him at one of the hardest parts in your life. That's when he showed up. Mm-hmm. And he's helped you keep that stability through this, through all of this. Mm-hmm. And, and once again, you don't need it. You're, uh, I don't want to... You're uh, Saying advanced is like... We don't put people in hierarchies. We don't... 
but he's he's gone through so many lives he's been through countless countless lives countless changes and countless he's he's advanced he's really mm-hmm. advanced mm-hmm. He, he's not from here he's like experienced what? so many things oh. so his question is his soul originally from earth or no, from another planet definitely it's another planet <laughs> what planet is this does he know uh, um, I feel like I'm not supposed to tell him right now. Okay. He will know. He will know. Okay. But now's not the time. Mm-hmm. Like he's too caught up in the details. Okay. And that's part of what shuts him down. He'll he'll kind of demand answers to his questions, uh, and, and that's what stops him. That's what stops the flow. Mm-hmm. And if he disallows, if he just lets go and just does, just be, and he's so good at it too. <laughs> just be, just just chill out, man. You're so good, and and those things are coming. They'll they'll all show, and you'll know. You'll know. It's not like they're we all have random ideas and thoughts and things that come through us but these aren't that these are big these are grandiose these are like the dreams you had that stuck out mm-hmm. you know what is what was that Zoroaster dream all about <sighs> yeah we're friends mm-hmm. yeah we're <laughs> friends it's the knowledge that he was reminding me of the knowledge that I'm going to share okay that's what the scroll was to symbolize that information that that I'm going to pass on. It's it's in me. It's always been there. Mm-hmm. And that was only just to remind me. And, and Zoroaster is like, that's one of my friends, man. That's like my main man. <laughs> like, we're, we're so tight. Oh, yeah. So this meditation exercise that he was doing, is that because he's going to be channeling in the future? Channeling information? Uh, um in, in, a sh- in a form, mm-hmm. but he won't, uh, not like you do, Alba, it'll be, mm-hmm. it'll be more uh, idea, it'll be more imagery, it'll be more of a, he understands through images, mm-hmm. um, he's definitely a visual mm-hmm. person, and it'll, uh, it'll be his, uh, our way of showing him uh, the next steps, the, de- mm. the design phase. Because the designs are already made, everything is already made. Um, eventually, we'll we'll show them exactly what it needs to be. But mm-hmm. right now is not the time. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it, it'll all come in time. He'll he'll see it all. But it'll be channeling images and okay. not not sharing in the way that you do, Alba. Because mm-hmm. you uplift people. Yours is uh, you share your message. And it's it's amazing what you do. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. But his is a visual. His will be... Oh, oh, I can't tell you yet how he's going to share the message, okay. but it's huge. Okay. And, and, and everybody will know because it's going to be so big that it's, once again, it's one of those undeniable things that like, wow, um, when the sky turns purple, you can't deny it, you know? So <laughs> Good. Just, just keep going. Now, he says that last year, he started seeing something happen to his body. His skin Angry started loss. changing. Yes. yes. What happened to his body? Oh, he, what is that all about? Why is he losing the pigment in his body? Part of it is his relationship. Hmm. Um, He could be alone in this entire life, mm-hmm. but he doesn't want to be, mm-hmm. and we don't want him to be. Yes. Um, so we allow him to choose, and he, he always chooses, he feels the need to help, yes. and he's choosing, he should choose a being that is already of high bi- vibration, and mm-hmm. that is level, but he chooses one's that he can uplift to mm-hmm. his level mm-hmm. and that's what he's done and he's done an amazing job but he lowered himself in the process and it did definitely it damaged him and and he said he, oh his pigment will come back it's all coming back hmm. um all the damage done is coming back okay. but he spent he he did it to himself in the way that he got knocked off mm-hmm. oh he, he got knocked off and then 
when the energies kept coming back in, he, uh, he just wanted to ignore it. Mm -hmm. He wanted to ignore it and not get back up again because it's not easy. Wow, it's not easy at all. There's so many people, they get someone to a life like this and they can't do it. They can't do it. It's life on this planet is, is hard enough. Mm -hmm. uh, just surviving. So coming in with uh, all these messages and all this information and there's so many negative beings that don't want that information shared. But the thing is, they can't stop you. They can only block you. Mm -hmm. They can only block you temporarily. It's, there's like contracts in play that they can't cross the line on certain things and we can't cross the line on certain things. Mm -hmm. We definitely um, abide by it better than they do. But there's... Oh, yeah. Well, he's been isolating himself more and more, and I know that a lot of people who come to see me do the same thing. They don't want to be around the negativity. It's it's needed. That isolation is the time that allows you to be in that the, the space in between. That, so it's okay. Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. You're not cutting yourself off. From, good luck. <laughs> you can't cut yourself off from the world. Mm -hmm. You're such a part of this. You have no idea. So all those people who are who like to be alone to recharge their energy? Oh, it's needed. It's needed. Yeah. Okay. We pick up on other people's energies and, and it'll drag you down. It'll hold you in those lower vibratory states and mm -hmm. and it'll hold you back. So it was absolutely needed at the time and it still is. He still needs that. He, he, he likes to think he doesn't like people, but he loves people. And he's helped out so many people throughout his life. Mm -hmm. He's got such a big heart. That he's he's hurt himself so many times. Yeah. Helping these other people out. Like but it's good. It's it's, it's yeah. How can he avoid hurting himself now that he knows the power that he has in the mission? Oh, he knows how to to close himself off in a way to mm -hmm. where he doesn't have to carry their weight. He doesn't have to carry their energy. He doesn't have to do the work for them. He can guide them and show them a path. But he doesn't, he, he's done the work for them in the past, and that was what damaged him. And that's what uh, knocks him down. Mm -hmm. You know, he tells me that he came from a very large uh, family, and he never felt that he fit in. Does it seem like all of these people now that are coming here uh, are not feeling like they fit in? That's part of the training. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you, you need to feel the darkness. Yes. It is not darkness. This family is actually really loving. And, mm -hmm. Oh, they're so great. They're so amazing. They're, they're these amazing people. Mm -hmm. They're all doing these positive things in their own way. But he is so different mm -hmm. on so many levels. And he's, he's not like them. He's definitely not like them. So what do you tell somebody who feels that they're not... They don't feel like they fit into their family. Oh, that's a good thing. <laughs> it's good to be individual. It's so good to be different. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be like everybody else. Accept that. That's your strength. That's where your power comes from. Oh, your family? Your, your individuality. Oh, your individuality. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. your, the family's there to, to maintain that love and support and compassion while you're growing. But it's never in the way that you would want to see fit. And that's, that's part of the challenge. If it was, if everything was the way you wanted, you wouldn't have the edge that you needed. You need to be hardened. You need, like, like they, they do with swords and knives. Without hardening that steel, it's just soft. It's pliable. Mm -hmm. It would lose its edge. Oh, but by hardening you, by all these experiences that you've had, oh, <laughs> it's preparing you. It's made you uh, a soldier, a spiritual oh, soldier. It's yeah. He, mm -hmm. He's a warrior. <laughs> he is a warrior. Mm -hmm. He's seen so many battles and so many lives. Mm -hmm. oh, but that's he's so beyond that now. Like mm -hmm. war isn't what it's about. It's love and compassion. Mm -hmm. It's all about the light. Yes, the love light. Can you tell him a little bit about his dog, Hank? 
He's afraid of everything, and lately he's been going through a lot of physical ailments. <laughs> Once again, just like his relationships, he picked a dog, but he, he, he could have picked another one that would have helped with a guide, but he felt that he needed to fix this dog. Mm -hmm. So how can he fix this dog now that he knows that he has this amazing energy? <sighs> he's, he's been working on it. He's trying all these different things. Mm -hmm. oh, the dog is picking up on a lot of the energies that he pulls in mm -hmm. and is carrying those for him. Mm -hmm. oh, and then, and then, the dog, is he's releasing them, mm -hmm. but he releases them through his illnesses. So is that what happens with our pets when they get sick? Are they picking up some of our negativity? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. They carry our weight. And it's, in a sense, it's not fair to the animals, but that's their. Tr that's what. That's why they're here. Mm -hmm. That's. That's the life that they take on. It's, it, whether it's a guide or oh, whatever their position is to to carry that to help carry the burden to help carry that weight. Uh, and animals have a way of resetting that humans forget. They, they are always connected to source. Mm. Always. So what may be an illness to them is just an energy passing through. Okay. And the, uh, he's just passing these things one by one. Uh, and he's helped a lot. He's done a lot of good. You've had so many energies in the past... Oh, especially recently. Mm -hmm. What happened with him recently when he picked up on that energy that has kind of derailed him and not allowed him to meditate? He picked up something in Mount Shasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this an entity that he picked yeah, up? Yeah, he was so open, mm -hmm. so open. Where, where is that entity now? <sighs> I think it's in my right foot. Mm hmm Would you allow me to help that entity today? Oh, yeah, please. All right. Is that the only one we're dealing with? There's something in his stomach, too. All right. So let's start with the foot. Which, which foot are we talking about? Oh, it's his right foot. All right. So I'm going to take my hands and bring that energy up. Feel it coming up the body. As we bring this brother up, 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 up. And you can express yourself oh. now. Good morning. Uh, Are you male or female energy? Oh, male. Male. What may I call you? Mark. Mark. Mark, how old are you? How old are you, Mark? 60, 64, mm -hmm. 65. What year is it for you, Mark? It's like... It's a little, 1892 or something mm -hmm. like. Mark, what happened to you? How did you lose your body? I died on the mountain. Mm, what were you doing? I was, I was a, an adventurer. Mm. I was a traveler. So, Mark... I got hurt. On the, uh, on the, uh, yeah. Did you hurt your foot while you were on the mountain? I did, and I, that's why I couldn't get down. Mm. I hurt my leg and I was stuck. And I, I travel a lot, alone, yes. a lot, and there's no one there to help me. Mm -hmm. So, Mark, how is it that you were attracted to Joseph? Oh, he is such a light. He was just beaming, mm. just beaming this light. How I mean, do you get, not get attracted to that? Yes. You know? So, wow. once you were just, you connected to him, did he feel any symptoms of yours? I mean, I, yeah, I drug him down a lot. Mm -hmm. In what way? What did you make him feel? Oh, oh he picked up on all my negative energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? Oh, just, I weighed him down. Mm -hmm. Big time. I weighed him down. I slowed him down. Emotionally? Mentally? Physically? How did you do it? Oh. I, his vibrations were so high that it, it fed me, it fed me energy that, mm -hmm. oh, I haven't had that in, oh, it's so long. Mm -hmm. It's been so long since I felt that love. 
that that positive energies that he has inside of him. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Mark, did you know that you had that inside of you all this time and you didn't know it? No. All right. Would you like me to help you find it? Oh, yeah. All right. Mark, inside of you is that spark of light. That spark of light is from Source. Find that light and tell me when you see it. Oh, I see it. All right, now make it bigger and bigger. Make it as big as you are. Make it so big that you just can't contain yourself anymore. How does it feel, Mark? Oh, it feels incredible. It feels like I'm floating. It is. So, what would you like to tell Joseph about what you've done? Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to wake up. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to throw you off, of course. Very good. Take a deep breath in, Joseph. What would you like to say to Mark now that you understand why he was dragging you down? Do you forgive him? Oh, absolutely. All right. Send him your love. <clears throat> love you, Mark. Mm -hmm. So, Mark, I'm going to have you now remove all of that energy from his feet. Pull out all of that energy. And I'd like for you to beam into that that foot all of that light from Source. Feel your love now going into his feet. Everything you've taken from him now, you can give him more. And when you're ready, Mark, go up through the top of his head right up here. And one of my archangels is going to take you right, right back to Source. <laughs> Who's there? Let's go. Mm -hmm. And tell me who you are greeted by. Uh, Raphael. Mm -hmm. uh, you got all my archangels working with you. Michael, Raphael. Oh, yeah. Very good. Allow them to envelop you in that beautiful love. And may the light of the universe always accompany you, Mark. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mm-hmm. So now I'd like for you to focus on the energy on your stomach and let's bring that energy up. Bring it up, 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 up. Good morning. What's your name? Uh, no. You're not feeling very good? No, no. No. Are you male or female energy? Oh, male. Male. What's your name, please? Mm, how old are you? Oh, I'm old. Mm -hmm. What year is this for you? <sighs> Have you been traveling a long time? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So tell me how you found your way to Joseph. Well, I was in that mountain. Mm -hmm. ah. You were in the mountain too? Yeah, there's so many energies in that mountain. Mm -hmm. What's going on with that mountain? Why are all these entities on that chest? There's so much life underneath it. Mm -hmm. All of our planet. There's so much life. Mm -hmm. People don't realize like there's probably more life underneath it than there is on top. Mm -hmm. So what's underneath Mount Shasta? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's like it's a uh, it's a city, mm -hmm. but it's a base. Mm -hmm. But more of a city. So what did you have to do with that mountain? Why were you there? Uh, Ooh. I've been there thousands of years. Thousands of years? Yeah. <clears throat> I've been there since we... I feel like part of the base got taken over. Mm-hmm. And I was part of the... I was a positive force at the time. But man, they... I don't know what they did to me, but they sucked the life out of me and they... What kind of base is this that's under Mount Shasta? Um, part of it is government. Part of it is uh, uh, like a humanoid base. And then mm -hmm. the other part is way beyond that. It's uh, There's ascended beings. There's so many positive beings. And it's funny to have such light, such dark and light and mm -hmm. such... A confined spot too because they're so close to each other mm -hmm. like how do you guys not oh, that's weird so what did you attach to, to Joseph uh, oh he's man. He reminds me of me mm -hmm. he reminds me of me he's got such an old positive energy mm -hmm. like 
Really, it's been around. You can see it a few things. So are you ready to fill yourself up with that positive energy again? Oh, I would love to. All right. Find that light within you, that light of source that everyone has, and tell me when you find it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> now you can tap oh, in directly wow. to that light. Feel that, that yeah. light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That old familiar sting. All right. Do you oh. need to remain in this place anymore, or can oh, you go no. directly to Get me out of here. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and fill that, that energy into his stomach. Go ahead and pull your stuff out and fill his body with that energy from source, and go up through the top of his head. And I have my friends, Archangel Michael, Raphael, and all the other Archangels. <laughs> uh, hey, fellas. I'm going to take you right back to Source. Let's do this. All right, tell me when you get there. <laughs> oh, let's go. Good. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. So I'd like for you to do a scan of your body and see if there's anything else that we need to take care of today. Oh, he's so good. He's so mm -hmm. good. What would you like to tell him in, in closing about his life, about anything else that I haven't answered for him today or haven't asked? Everything you need to know is going to be shown to you. You'll see it all. You're going to see it all. There's so much grander. It's so much bigger than you could ever fathom. And you're going to play such a massive part in this awakening. It, oh, and it's going to change everybody. I know you feel like you're not helping people and that you're not service to others. And you have no idea how service to others you are. This has been all of your lives combined. You've done so much to be service to others through so many lives. Don't ever think that you have your service to self. Don't think that. You're maintaining your vibration. You have to keep this body alive. You have to keep this form able to keep this vibration. That's all you're doing. By isolating yourself, you're strengthening this body. The way you're eating, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. Oh, don't lose faith. Don't give up. You're on the right track. And everything you're doing is leading you down the right direction. And nothing can derail you. Nothing. Don't worry about relationship. Don't worry about career. None of that stuff matters. Follow your joy. Do what you love. And you'll see that those things are one and the same. They're, they're what you're going to bring forward. You're such a fool. <laughs> How do you not see this? How do you not? I love you so much, man. I love you so much. Oh, you crack me up sometimes, you stubborn little bastard. <laughs> How can he tap into you even better? Oh, he always is. Mm -hmm. We're always connected. Good. He just refuses to believe it. And, uh, because our voices are one and the same. Yes. He, he finds it hard to believe that... There's negative energies that at times will hijack his frequency and, and, and give him negative thoughts and show him negative images and, and try to bombard him. Mm -hmm. And it's only temporary. And, and he knows that he can get himself out of it, that, that there's so much light in him that it doesn't matter how many times they try to hack you. You're so much stronger, so much stronger. It's almost laughable what they're trying to do. It's like putting you in a bubble with a painted veneer of a city on it and expecting you to believe that shit. Like, there's there's nothing they can do for you to... Yeah, just don't lose faith. Mm -hmm. You're so good. You're so good. And how do you not see it? <sighs> now... 
I know that we have talked about a lot of very interesting things here. As his higher self, do you think that this information would be interesting for other people, would oh, be helpful? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody loves hearing this information. Yeah. So many people gain knowledge from what you do, Abba. So many people gain comfort and love and and light from what you're doing. Even people that would never call you, would never set up a session out of fear or mm -hmm or whatever it is in their life that's controlling them because there's so much control on this side. On the other side, there's nothing. It's so amazing. It's, it's just wow. And then to be in a place of so much control mm -hmm. and so much distortion, um, don't lose faith. Mm -hmm. There's always that light inside of you. There's so much light inside of you. And you acknowledge that light, it gets brighter. And you acknowledge that it'll get brighter and it'll continue till it's beaming out of your eyeballs and it's shooting out of your forehead. I mean, <laughs> don't lose faith. Stay positive. You're, you, you'll have negative things happen. It happens to everybody. It'll continue to happen. It's always going to be there. Like, duh, that's part of it. That's, you can't have one without the other. That's the polarity. That's, you need that. What's the point of having a light if you didn't have darkness? <laughs> so don't lose faith. And, and everybody, just keep doing what you're doing. And the fact that you found this, the fact that you're listening to this, that you sat through this, so many people just don't even, can't make it through the first 10, 15 minutes. It may be slow, but there's messages. There's hidden messages sprinkled throughout, and it's for everyone. <sighs> Patience. Just be patient. It's coming. It's on the way. Can't be stopped. It's already happening. It has already happened if you want to look at it that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alba. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you so much for what you do. You're helping so many people. So many people. It's my pleasure and mission. What is your mission? Mm -hmm. And I accept it. <laughs> You're damn good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Are we complete today? Yes, we're complete. Very good. Thank you very much. It's been wonderful all over. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> I was shaking. Yes, you were. Mm -hmm. Wow. How do you feel? Like I was in the middle of a tornado. <laughs> How do you feel now? I'm not even connected to my body yet. <laughs> I'm going to give you some shungite to hold. <sighs> give me that selenite oh, and let's I think get... my shirt is got soaked. drenched. I am. Look at that. Wow. Let me give you the, oh, wow. and the sun shungite. Wow. So that was quite an amazing that was session. Intense. That was amazing. Did you ever expect anything like that? No, no. I I thought I it would be really visual. I thought I would see all these things, but, but I didn't at all. How did you experience this? The, I saw the island. Mm -hmm. I saw space. Yes. And from there, like a, the, the, my higher self just took over, like mm -hmm. totally just hijacked me. <laughs> <laughs> But it was amazing, you know. It wasn't like, hey, give that back. It was like, wow. It was like watching somebody on a podium and you're just like in awe, like, oh, wow, it's you. So this life is a reptilian. <sighs> did it you makes see sense. that one or did you yeah, feel it? Yeah, I saw it. I was, I know, I know why it upsets me because of the negative yeah. annotations about the reptilians, but they're not all bad. Yeah. They're not all bad. Well, you could see in that lifetime. Yeah. And that's why in um, the dream I had, mm -hmm. I was being controlled and the moss work helped me get out of it. Yeah. And um, by doing so, like, I also knew that the ones controlling me weren't all that bad. I don't know. It's such a weird thing to be controlled by somebody, but yet know mm -hmm. that that there was something in them that wasn't, that they're still good in them, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, everybody has this idea that, oh, the white reptilians are running the planet and yada yada. It's like a handful of them. And the rest underneath them are slaves just like we are on this planet, you mm -hmm. know? Just like another military force. <laughs> they signed up to do good, which yeah. they thought was good. And 
along the way, they find out this isn't what I signed up for. So your higher self, this would be a good one to share. How do you feel? Oh about yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll share it. Good. Wow. <laughs> I have wow. like no words for this session. I amazing, amazing. I shook so violently at times. I thought I was like, gonna shake myself out of my body or something. Yeah. It and you're completely so soaked. I am drenched. The pillow is my soaked. Whole chest all the way down to my waist. Yeah. Drenched. So that was a really emotional. I had no idea what to expect. Yeah, I, I remember crying halfway, probably through the whole thing. I mean, man, there was. Wow. So what was the most? <laughs> all Thank of you it, for right? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really. He's shaking so much. Oh. So you have been given, you have been told you have a really, really important mission here. Yeah. How does that feel? <laughs> well, you know, I don't know what it is completely still. I had, you know, like, it's one, I don't, it's hard to say. I don't mm -hmm. feel like burdened, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm so excited. Like, even thinking about it makes my whole, like, <laughs> I warm up uh -huh. inside and, I, I know seeing what's coming, like, oh, <laughs> we've got so much good to look forward to. So everybody was, is scared about what's no, coming. What do you fe no what, what did fear. you get? No okay, fear. so tell everybody what you were experiencing. Oh, what's happening is even those people that are in the darkest places of, mm. of the darkest nature, they're going to be turned too. Like when, that, when this thing happens, because <laughs> I, you know... I'm guilty of listening in on some of the, you know, the gossip, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. or, oh, this is going to happen or this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. The good people are going to go to one place, the bad another. And mm -hmm. It's not like that. So what did you get? Because everybody's waiting to hear. Well, they didn't show me necessarily. I saw the energy coming over and I felt like... All over the earth. Oh, yeah. And it was like that bliss. Like I'm shaking now just like getting into it. <laughs> oh. And you're kidding, like, I'm still, like, so tapped in right now. It's, yeah. It's bizarre. But that the energies that come and are so positive, and they're here already. They're already yeah. all around us. It's not like it's it's on its way because it's, it's here. here. Yeah. yeah. It's waiting for us to be at a certain point to where once we tip that scale, the whole thing, like, bam. And it's everybody. It's going to It doesn't matter. You think you can hide in a bunker underground? <laughs> Good luck. You think you can hide in another part of space? Good luck. So we're it's all going to be hit with this love. And it's not just, it's not our planet. It's, it's, it's everywhere. It's the whole solar system. It's, so it's is everywhere. this like source? Are we going to feel what it's like to be connected with source? Are we going to feel at one? What is it? I would say, I would say like, I, I, I got the feeling that we're all going to be connected like we are on the other side. Like mm. that knowing, that knowing that we all have mm. that we all tap into that collective conscious if you want to call it that wow. like yeah like everybody's going to be tapped into that so people won't be able to lie or cheat or any of that we'll become transparent yeah exactly like <laughs> wow. i'm so excited <sighs> and it's such good things because I, I was one of those two that was worried and yeah fear monger prepare let right me, let me get a food kit put aside and this and that and, and now and some silver and oh now it's like whatever now it's like I want to go enjoy my vacation and yeah, and yeah well that's what I, I was told. Life. You know, there was a there was a time where where I was you know stocking up some food and stuff, yeah. and I was. And it's told, good to be prepared always, you know. Well, we have hurricanes time, in Florida, but yeah. I was basically told by my guides get rid of it all. Yeah. So I was like, okay. By it, you're kind of <laughs> yes. manifesting it. Yeah. Okay. So they said, get rid of it all. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Okay. So. Yeah. That's how I feel. You know? That's absolutely how I feel. So right now it's like, well, you know, I've got my suitcase. I'm traveling all over mm -hmm. the world. It's, I'm, I feel like I'm guided. And mm -hmm. that's all I need. I, I know I'm safe wherever I am, no yeah. matter what. So, you know, yeah, I'm loving this. Need, There's know? nothing we need. Yeah. You know, I, I look at my suitcase and it goes, and I say to myself, well, that's what I need. Right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm good. So... This was a great session. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, you know, watching <laughs> shake a little bit was a little weird, but, oh. but uh, 
that and you're still shaking. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm so drenched right now. I, I'm just in shock almost. Yeah, uh, it was like being in shock. It was like that's yeah. my body. That's well, me. your body was like almost like in a shock the whole time. You know, like that's when, wild. But my pupils are so dilated. They're like oh, I'm looking in the mirror. Like, <laughs> that's, strange. That's hypnosis. So tell everybody what it felt like to be in hypnosis. Oh. Yeah, I don't have any preconceived, or go ahead and preconceive all you want, because <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, um, I had one hypnotic session before this, and nothing remotely nothing close compares. to this. Nothing Now, this was, it was so intense. It was so it intense. Was. I was so locked in, connected, mm-hmm. and I still have to raise my vibration some, because, man, that, it was so much in me at once that, like, I couldn't even... Yeah. <sighs> and uh, were you conscious the whole time? Yeah, yeah, because I observed it all. It was almost like I, I watched myself give a speech, but it wasn't me. I watched somebody that I was in great awe of give a speech. Which is your higher self. And I just stood aside and watched and was yeah. like, wow. And this is you. This guy's awesome. And it's you. Yeah. Isn't that wild to think mm. that your higher self is so awesome? But we have to wild. really open up. Because I'm to always this. like, you jerk. Why is this going on in my life? And, and he said a few words about you too yeah oh, i'm sure man like when we were on that other side and i was i was in a circle um i like almost the, the council like, was like yeah the council mm-hmm. and yeah we were just tossing it back and forth you know like it's amazing how much emphasis we put on our lives and when you're on the other side it's comical yeah. it's comic relief well you know a lot of people ask about that why we are we forced to come back to this you know, this council doesn't seem very nice. They force <laughs> us to come back to this life. You just came back from that. It's always choice. It's it's always choice. Mm-hmm. I don't think anybody is forced to go. People are lining up to get here, mm. especially like with what's about to occur. Yeah. I mean, we're so close. Yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> I, remember, I remember here in March. I remember like March being... And whatever that is, you know, I don't know, don't hold me to that, but no. who knows what it could be. It could be anything. It could wow. Be anything. Wow. Well, we've traveled quite a bit, you and me. I'm mm-hmm. in Denver, Colorado right now. And where did you come in from? I traveled from Los Angeles, California. Yeah, so we're both like from opposite sides meeting right in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> so it worked was, out perfectly, though. This did it work awesome. out for you? Yeah. So do you feel that it was worth coming here? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Wonderful. Absolutely. So do you recommend this to everybody? Oh, Without a doubt, if you're even Googling this, you should set up a session. Yeah. Even if it's three years from, well, maybe not three years, but you get my gist. Like, yeah. absolutely do this. I I feel like, because I had questions that, I don't know if you got through all the questions or not. I don't even know. That's they were the kind thing. of, like, you know, when you were talking, some of, some of these were so insignificant. Yeah. That That's how it felt, too. Like, mm-hmm. none of these questions even matter. Right. Like, it was so big. Yeah. So it was it was almost like the higher self was like, this is so trivial. Exactly. You, you but without human. trying to make me feel trivial. Exactly. Because I kept getting that, too. Like, yes. just because we don't care doesn't mean be- we don't care. Exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. But it was funny. Wonderful. So if you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albawineman.com. And uh, I am booked way out. Right now my calendar is closed because... I'm not taking any more sessions in Miami at this time, but I do travel all around the world. And if you go to my out of town page right on the bottom, sign up for my newsletter. It comes out about once a month. And I do travel to places where there's a lot of people there looking for my services. So if you're near that city, sign up. Those sessions book within minutes when that newsletter comes out. So you've got to be really fast. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this session as much as I did. And I hope to get to see you too. You too soon. Bye. And give me that hug. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh.